basically everywhere in the country is dealing with all of these terrible mm -hmm. uh, pieces of weather. And meanwhile, we've got picture perfect fall. You know? Yes, yes. It's been so nice the last couple of days. You know, we had a little bit of rain on Saturday to begin our weekend, but our Sunday has just been so marvelous. Unbelievable. And the week is just getting better even better it's gonna get even better let's talk about the weather headlines this should get you prepared for your work week and uh, the extended forecast here over the, probably the next five days or so expected to be dry and sunny for most of the week so that goes for Monday Tuesday likely all the way through until about Friday and there's a couple days in there a couple gems I'd say uh, Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday where those temperatures are likely going to be hitting the lower 80s making it very very comfortable there for our midsection of the work week but early tomorrow morning, potentially a little bit of frost for areas of central Oregon because those temperatures are going to be dropping down to the lower 30s. Already in the upper 30s there for areas like Redmond and Bend. We're at 56 right now at PDX and 54 for Salem, but it was a nice day again, topping off about 68 degrees today in Portland. I have us dropping down to about 48. I think that calls for likely a heavier jacket, maybe some gloves for some locations uh, when you're sending the kids off to the school bus tomorrow morning. Definitely for central Oregon there. Look at that Bend at 32. Madras likely dropping down to about about that same temperature. In fact, there's a freeze warning till tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So I do expect those temperatures to all be hovering right around the lower 30s there, which might bring in a little bit of frost. All right, here's your bus stop forecast here in the valley closer to about Portland drop off about 49 degrees, maybe slightly warmer than that. Breeze is going to be very light, but the pickup time, I think those temperatures are going to be topping off in the lower 70s and it might be breezy about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but we're going to keep a sunny sky in the forecast for the whole afternoon. The showers that we did pick up on Saturday well off to the east, and we're going to see nothing but dry conditions. Notice the clouds aren't even really bothering us, and that's why those temperatures are going to be dropping quick as we go into tonight. You can see this blue color here that's showing the moisture in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere well off to the east going to be very dry for us here uh, over the next couple of days. So here's your Sunday night. Now this particular model is trying to push maybe a couple clouds in early tomorrow morning, maybe uh, some rain there off the coast, but I doubt that will occur. I think we're going to stay dry for our Monday and that's going to continue on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and likely into Friday. So you don't have to worry about much. Just be prepared for those cool mornings, very comfortable afternoons. Here's 10 p.m. Uh, on Monday, not much happening there. And then look at, we'll just see some clouds passing by, uh, maybe as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's gonna be a very quiet forecast uh, over the next couple of days. Drought conditions, still a concern. I don't think we're gonna be able to fix that probably through our fall into early winter when we'll start to make some uh, at least leeway at that because it is just very dry out there. We still have the extreme drought for central Oregon off to the east and even over towards portions of Eugene there to the south. That's exclusive women edition transition there for our seven day forecast because of our Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> our temperature is going to be in the lower 80s. Again, Trevor, I don't have rain in the forecast to probably next weekend, so enjoy the weather. The production value is just unparalleled, Joseph. Oh, it's up there. Really impressive. It's up there. Kind of a zombie summer here. It just won't go away for us. Yeah, yeah. Is, is this the last stand, though, of temperatures in the 80s? I think? mean, this is you know, probably about 5 to 10 degrees above average, yeah. so probably. Okay, sounds good. Thank yeah. you, Joseph. Let's get over to.